Hi, I'm Eileen Roach and I'm excited to share my quilt planner with you. This is our latest software program in the Inspirations lineup. So let's create a new design and get started. You'll find this icon which is quilt and it allows you to build a quilt. The default settings are six inch blocks with a one inch sashing. So let's go ahead and change that. We'll make this a bit more realistic. We'll do, oh, let's say 66 by 66. And I'm going to do an 8 inch block because that's the size hoop that I have. And I don't really want any sashing. So I'll just go ahead and get rid of the sashing. But I would like a border. And with an 8 inch block, let's say a 4 inch border, top and bottom. And I'm going to place in there and tell it how many cells we have, which is really hoopings. So since I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven blocks, I'll go ahead and change my cells or hoopings to seven. Now, the repeats, the cell color tells the software what design you would like to populate all blocks that are similar. So I want the same design to fill all of my eight inch blocks. And I'm just holding down the key, the left mouse key, and dragging across the field, and it colors in all of those blocks. Now, we're going to assign the border a different color, because clearly that will be a different design. And a horizontal border is definitely different than a vertical border, so I'll give the vertical and horizontal borders different colors. And I will... Uh, select a different color for each corner because corner designs would be rotated to reflect um, left, right, north, south, that type of thing. And we'll go ahead and put our last one in. The preview color is of the actual stitches. This I usually like to use black so that I can really see what I'm doing. And I am going to quilt this on a shorty, so I'll put a check mark in that box and click OK. Here's my quilt. Now I'll go up to the embellishment icon and I'm going to select, oh, I like this design. So it's a, um, it's a grid and it's centered and it's too big. So I'm going to click on fit to cell and it fits my block and it fits every one that is the same color. So you'll notice that only the tan cells are filled. So let's go ahead and do a border. Now we'll go into rectangles and I have a matching border design and I'll place that up in the horizontal border. And again, I'll hit fit to cell and I might want to do center. And you'll notice that my horizontal borders, top and bottom, have been populated. Now I'm going to, going to select that same design for the vertical borders, but this time I'll move it over into that area and I'll rotate it into a vertical fashion. And here, notice how it's off center, so let's click on center and cell and fit to cell. And now it's sized appropriately. Let's add a little feather design to each corner. And we'll bring that in, click OK, drag it over. Oh, we don't want to do that. Where is it? Here we go. We'll drag it down to the corner. And I definitely want to rotate that so that it's coming on point and center it in the cell and fit to cell. Now my entire quilt is populated. You want to see what the quilting looks like without the cells? Easy to do. You just click on toggle quilt and now you can see how all of your quilting connects across the span of fabric. How do we get it onto the quilt? Well, all we do is click Export Quilt, and we can do Name Our Quilt, we'll call it Test 2. It will definitely save it in the C2S, and if you want, are ready to go right to the machine, you could also save it in whatever format is appropriate for your machine. So I will save it in uh, PES and click Save. A folder appears. And it has all of the designs 
here's the grid that was on each block. Here's my horizontal border design, my vertical border design, and each of my corners saved individually for me. Now, let's click the PDF preview. This shows you a schematic of the quilting. So when you are actually at the machine, you'll know exactly where you are in the quilting as you work across the quilt. Now, I'm also going to show you, because I had selected shorty, quilting on the shorty, it is showing me the schematic where I would start here in block one, which is the corner, move across the border, down to the halfway point of the quilt, and advance all the way along the quilt. Notice how each hooping has a number. You know, you here you have F4, G4, that refers to the row and the column. And then, after half of the quilt is complete, we flip the quilt, and now we will decorate the remaining half of the quilt. And that's how easy it is to use my quilt planner. No math required.